name is Thomas Green and I'm with Bushwhacker and today I'm going to show you how to set up an ST7210. This also applies to our ST6010 and ST8410. The first step you're going to want to do is come here, take your pins out, just hold on to those. You can set them right here if you want. Then you're ready to back up your tractor and hook onto your arms. Now we're going to hook up our lift arms onto our pins. Once you get it on, you drop your pin in there and do the same thing to the other side. on hooking up the three-point hitch you want to get your top link arm and hook it here to your clevis now you're ready to pick up the mower Once you have the mower picked up, you'll come back to the back of the unit. There will be a bolt in this arm right here. Remove it and pull down your trail wheel arm. There's different settings on here depending on where, how high you want to cut. For the setting up purposes, I'm just probably going to put it in the second hole here. Once you get it in that second hole, put on your nut and tighten it down. And these blocks right here, they're just for shipping purposes so it doesn't scratch the deck. Just take your razor knife, cut those off. They're, they have no purpose whatsoever. Once you got all that set, you want to come over to your drive line. On the front of that drive line, it has a ball collar kit, which I'll show you in a second. There's grooves on your PTO shaft. Those ball bearings need to sit in this groove. If you go too far, just pull it back and you'll hear it lock into place. And here are the ball bearings right here, or the ball collar kit as we call it. You can see once you pull this collar back, it exposes those, and that's what locks into that groove on the PTO. On the back side, if you look here, on this cover, it's got a Phillips head screw. You remove this plastic cover right here, which gives you access to the input shaft of this gearbox. You do the same thing. You line up the splines, and on the back of this, it has a tapered wedge bolt. You, it has a washer and a nut on the threaded side. You line those up. There's only one way this pin will go in. Once you put it in, you tighten this down, you're ready to start cutting. As I said before, this setup goes for an ST6010, ST7210, and ST8410. And again, I'm Thomas with Bushwhacker.